Welcome to Bangalore, India, a bustling city in the South Indian state of Karnataka, also known as Bangalore. Bangalore is known for its history, tech industry, and incredible food scene. The city was first founded in the 16th century during the Vijayanagara Empire and has since become a mega city of over 10 million people. Today, I'm taking you on a one-of-a-kind tour of India's third largest city, from the centuries-old Bangalore Fort to the modern shops and cafes of Church Street. We're also exploring Bengaluru's impressive food scene, from the floating pani puri and fire pan at Vivi Puram Food Street to the spicy liver and chicken at Sivaji Military Hotel. I'm taking the liver alone. Oh yeah. Along this journey, we're going to meet Bangalore natives and learn about their city from them and bring you information and experiences only locals know about. So get ready to join us on this incredible journey through Bangalore, India. Let's go. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Bengaluru, the capital of the state of Karnataka here in India. And today I'm here with my good friend Anau, Anashwara. Yeah. Yes. And Anashwara is taking us here to this amazing restaurant for breakfast. They've been in business for like 70 years. They make dosas, idli, and they also have something very special which is Karnataka coffee, which oh, is yeah. something we haven't tried yet. And then you said they have two baths? Yeah, they have this thing called chow chow bath, which is a combination of khara bath and uh, kesi bath. So kesi bath is a sweeter version and khara bath is like a spicy version of it and it's eaten together as breakfast too. But what, but happen, what happens when you combine them? You can try <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. awesome. Basically, it's Saturday morning. We got here at 9 and we have a one hour wait. So we got here, we put our names down and we got a number 135, yeah. right? 135. So in that hour, we're just gonna walk around this flower market which is beautiful as you can see. It's like a two block radius flower market. I guess let's go explore the market. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. So this place is the Gandhi Bazaar area and it has like it's not just the flower market. The bigger flower market is in KR market. We can head there later. So this has a lot of fruits, vegetables, everything comes fresh in the morning and it's like over by like 12 or 11 in, during the day. It's, it's quite colorful actually and it's really active during the festive season. Wow, th this market is extremely colorful. I mean so many different fruits. We got bananas. We have apples, we have peaches. Oh my god, look at this. And lemon tummy. That's the flower market. Inside. That's the flower Can we go in there? Yeah, we could. Let's go in there. People here use flowers mainly for worship. So everybody, everyone comes here in the morning to buy some flowers and you know, do puja in the morning. And even during marriages, we have this custom where people put flowers around each other, like these garlands around each other. So that's why people come here to buy them. And the KR market, which I told you about, which we can head to later, it has a larger flower market. It's like huge. It's humongous. And a lot of flowers come from the outskirts of Bangalore in the morning. So that's how it works. And again, it shuts down by like 12, 12 ish in the market you can find multiple different styles of garlands and this one in particular the white with the red the green this one is for weddings as you can see right here this lady's bring it together and it must take her at least i don't know maybe an hour they're pretty fast with this but yeah it's beautiful and this market is like it's happening right now there's a lot of people making stuff <laughs> the most what's up my friend my friend yeah. yeah i love your flower market lots of colors jesus here loves you. jesus loves me jesus loves you okay awesome awesome me thank too. you thank you me too how about how about uh ganesha ganesha loves me too no 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 jesus loves me <laughs> jesus loves you thank you awesome thanks jesus man. loves you all thank, thank you. you very nice to meet you after exploring the fruit and flower market we've worked up an appetite it's been about 40 minutes hopefully they're ready to call our number. Let's go. Okay, this, this line is intense right now. We've been waiting like deep in this. Oh my god, look at that. That's so wild. And the guy right here is calling everybody. I mean, there's like five people left for us. But the way it works is there's enough space for people at one table. They just call like two or three people and then everybody goes in. Ooh, I'm starving. I need a dosa. Guys. Oh my god, we made it. We made it. <laughs> We're here in the kitchen. As you can see, this guy's about to carry out 20 dosas. This is like what this place is famous for. This whole, the guy holds 20 dosas and walks around the entire restaurant passing them out. Look at this, look at this. Hi, I'm Arunadiga. 
Uh, I'm the owner. I'm, uh, I joined my father in 2005 and running this restaurant. This restaurant is 75 years old now. It started way back in 1943. It started as a small student's eatery to cater to the students who are studying nearby. And it has grown since then for the last seven and a half decades. And many people have contributed for its growth, not only the customers, our own staff who have supported us. There are, we have our uh, staff who have been working here for more than 25 years. There are about 10 people who are working for more than 25 years with us. Wow. So they are our family. Here we have everything on the menu except for dosa. So we're waiting for the dosa. Here we have puri, like some big puris, which I'm gonna pop right now. This is like a, what is it, like a potato? That's the potato curry that you eat with the puri. And then that's idli. Idli. Vada. Vada. Chaja bath, khara bath. Sorry, the other way around. Kesri bath and khara bath. And together it's called chao chao bath. Chao chao bath. Yeah. And so you mix it together? No, you don't mix it together. It's eaten together. Okay, okay. <laughs> and what should we start with? Uh, you can start with the puri, then go to the idli, vada. Yeah. Perfect. So I'm gonna pop this thing. Ready? You don't need to pop it. Oh, I don't need to pop it. Alright, I'm just gonna break it. Wow, look at that. Do you want some? You, you got such a small piece. I got the biggest piece ever. Oh yeah. Wow, wow this is really good. Isn't it good? Wow. Mm. It's amazing. Yeah. Potatoes. Nice curry, some peppers, not spicy. Mm. And what about this one? That's chutney. This is chutney? Yeah. So you just dip it in chutney as well? Yeah. What chutney Just is chutney. Co coconut? That's coconut with uh, coriander. Oh wow. Is that good? It's spicy, right? Spicy? <laughs> I was gonna say, this is the best coconut ever. Oh, oh man, look at this, look at this. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. check it out. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Wow. Here's the 20 of them. Oh my god. And here, the, here, here are the dosas. Oh, yeah. Okay, and that's the chutney that you need with the dosa. The amazing thing about this coconut chutney is it's really spicy. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it, it's spicy and that's why it goes with the puri. Because the puri is kind of bland, right? Yeah, so. the, puri, the puri is like, it's okay in terms of like, I mean it's great. But in terms of like the taste, it's just a bland dough, yeah. right? Ooh, it's, it's hot. It's basic bread. Basic bread. <laughs> <laughs> that was really hot. Okay, now I'm going to Italy. I love this. It's like a super flaky little. I guess like a, a small pancake yeah, in a way. Pancake. Yeah. And you dip it into the. You break it and then dip it into the sambar. Okay, I get big pieces. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, you can dip it even into the chutney. In the chutney, so I'm yeah. gonna try with the sambar first. Yeah. And then chutney. You or can do both, or you can do just. Do one. both, okay. The sambar and then that. Oh, wow. Mm, I love the mix. It's a great combo. Tomato. You can try it separately. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will. But tomato, I, I love a tomato of this sambar. Yeah. Mm, very light, great flavor. But this chutney is out of control. I mean, you can dip this whole thing like that. Like big, big, look at that. Wow. Oh, it's spicy. Yes. But it's worth it, right? Was it worth the win? The million dollar question. I'm so happy. Oh, yeah, the million here. dollar question, yes. When I was looking up places to visit in India, I saw Bangalore and I was like, I have to go there. The food looks amazing. I can't wait. And yeah, the spiciness. Oh. I'm too hungry. Okay. Yeah, that's all food. No, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so next up is the bada. Bada, bada. Bee. Yeah, bada. Yeah. Very crunchy, crispy, and this one is it's very unique. What they did is they put the sambar in the plate, so it's basically been soaking in it, right? Do I use it? Oh, you know it's good? Ready, you want some? No, you're good? Wow, so there we go. It's a big piece, but it's like, oh my god. More? So like push it into it? Wow, it's like absorbing it like crazy. Oh wow, it's gonna be so good. Oh wow, mm. it almost feels just like a tomato donut, that's what it is right now. It, it kind of is. I mean because it just sucked it up so much, it's like it's like a sponge. Yeah. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Isn't it great? No, it's too much, too much. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, this dunk is a good idea. Just dunking it in here with the spicy, spicy coconut. <laughs> Why not, right? Oh. That's heaven. Mm. Oh. oh, 
green shirt is. What's Indian food without green chili? No, there's no point. No point. So what's next? Okay, this is karabat. This is kesi bhat. Okay, so how do you? You eat you eat the karabat first. So kara means spicy. Spicy. Okay, so. And what is this, like a flaky grain? Yeah, this is, like this grain. is uh, rava. So, rava. Yeah, it's okay. something. It's something similar to a millet, but not really. Mm -hmm. And it's like barely similar to polenta. Okay. Yeah, spicy though, yeah, spicy. Spicy spicier version of, mm, polenta. of polenta. Yeah. And then this is the sweeter version. It's made from the same thing. This is savory and that's sweet. Oh wow. Sweet is probably sugar or jelly. Is that what it is? So it's sugar jelly. I mean, it feels almost like a. I don't know. I don't know the taste, but it's amazing. It's super sweet. Yeah. Like too much sugar. Yeah, so that's why it's eaten together. That's why it's eaten together, like that? Yeah. Okay, you here can we go. try that. Mm. What a combination. You have the spicy right here, you have the sweet right here. They punch each other and they make love. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, it's not good. Oh, this is my favorite thing ever. Me and him are huge fans of polenta. Okay. Huge fans. I haven't tried the main, the main star of the show right the here. The star of the show, right here, the dosa. The best for the last. Best for last. Yeah, always, right? Always. So look at how much ghee there is. Yeah, so look at the ghee, guys. It's just covered in ghee, as you can see. It's like, so ghee is basically like butter, if you guys don't know that. Inside, as you can see, there's potato. Oh, so how do I do it? I take it like this. Yeah, so you put oh, it you down. Break it? You can break it from top itself. Just break one piece. Okay. And then have it with those. Take a dip of this, dip it in the chutney and the sambal. So grab some of this like yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's that's different. Okay. That and that. This, so coconut, spicy coconut, and then yeah. samba. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Explosion of flavor. Oh, and this dosa. Mmm, so savory, so delicious. Wow, this might be my favorite dosa of all time. I mean, in terms wow. of the taste, it's also very thick. Some dosas are very thin, some are thick. This one's a little thicker, as yeah. you can see. It's, it's crisp on the outside and like super soft on the inside. Super soft on the inside, yeah, but it goes so well with this combination. You brought me to one of my favorite restaurants of all time, for real. <laughs> Perfect. I'm in hall right now. I'm just in heaven. What am I doing? I'm just gonna grab the whole thing now. And dunk it into. Just dunk it. Dunk it here, nice. Dunk it there, nice. Mm. Oh wow! I got it's some green spicy. chili in there. Very spicy. Yeah. But right here, what I have is basically the ultimate pancake, pineapple pancake with potatoes and then we just like go nuts with the with the chili there. <laughs> oh, it's too good. And you're not eating? Yeah, I'll have some in a bit. Look at your hands. You can see like... Oh, okay. Look at those greasy fingers. Oh, I I'm sorry. I'm just in love here. <laughs> oh my God. So we've been eating game-changing dosa. How do you like it? I love it. I love this it. This is why I love being a Bangalorean. I know. This is this is why we're foodies. This is yeah. why we travel to eat. It's for food that's this good. This is the best dosa I've ever had. Never had anything quite this thick in terms of dosa where it's just crispy, just spongy in the middle. It's wonderful. Okay, just gonna grab some potato mash here. And some chutney. Dunk it in the coconut chutney. And then in the sambal. It's a it's a three or four step procedure, but it's worth it. Oh man, look at my hands, they're just oh, yeah. covered in grease and ghee. I wouldn't have it any other way. If you come here, you have to come to this place. It's worth the wait in the line. Really it is. Yeah, we waited for what? An hour? An hour, yeah. But worth it, yeah. totally. <laughs> this is the typical filter coffee, which you get famously in Karnataka. So it comes in this sort of cup and a glass. And it's usually quite hot actually. So you pour it in here. And then you drink it bit by bit. So you pour it back. And you, you see how there's a lot of froth. So they pour it back and forth to create that froth. So, and then you can cool it down in your cup little by little and then take a sip. That's how it works. So that's why they give it to you in this bowl and a cup. So here we have the famous Karnataka coffee, filtered coffee. And you said you put a little bit, right? Yeah. Pour a little bit, let it cool down a little bit, swirl it around, and then... 
Oh, it's amazing. It's like a, this is like a cortadito in Miami. Sorry, I relate everything back to my Cuban coffee from my from my city. This is like cortadito, basically a lot of coffee, very little uh, milk, definitely sugar. Oh, and now, thank God, it's been sitting here for a bit. So let me do this, let me do this watch. Go higher, go higher. Dude, dude. Nice, wow. nice. nice. Oh, this coffee is delicious. Yeah, right? This like, the best coffee in India. I actually haven't had any coffee in India, so... <laughs> so it has to be the best. It, it's the best. It's better than chai. This is like, and it's gonna give me some caffeine to wake me up. Love it. Well, I hope you guys love this video. We had an amazing breakfast. By far the best thing for me was the dosa. So yummy, crispy, this dough, and the spicy coconut chutney. That was unreal. And obviously, come here early, try to get here really early. What time does it open? Oh, no, 6.30. 6.30, yeah. okay. Okay, so it's open at 6.30 a.m., so get here at 6 to get in line. Because yeah. we got here around 9 a.m., and we waited about an hour and 10 minutes, but because it's so packed, the food's amazing. You have to come when you come to Bangalore. I hope you guys love this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel, Sam and Audrey's channel, and follow her on Instagram. What's your Instagram? Aneshwara.m Perfect. I'll see you guys in the next travel adventure in, in incredible India. <laughs>Good afternoon everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful Bangalore, Karnataka, India. I'm here with my friend Anna Shwara. Yeah. And today we're gonna explore some of the must-see sites like the Bangalore Fort behind us. We're gonna go see a palace. And then we're gonna go have lunch at an amazing restaurant. We're gonna have some non-veg dishes. Tell me a little bit about that restaurant. Okay, so this place is called Shivaji Military Hotel. And it's been here for quite a long time. And it's extremely famous in Bangalore for all the non-veg dishes it has to offer. Like the biryani and like the starters and all of that. Chicken, mutton, you name it, they have everything. Mutton? Yeah, oh, it's great. I love mutton. Okay, fantastic. Let's go start exploring Bangalore. Okay, so this fort is dates back to 1537 when it was built by Kempe Gorda. And it was when it was built, it was a mud fort. And now it's made out of granite walls. It's uh, only one part of the fort still remains today, which is the part we're going to right now. As we walk into the fort, you can see these huge two wooden doors. They're massive. This is basically around a foot, foot and a half in width. They're super tall, easily like 30 feet in height. And at the top, there's spikes. So you can't get through here. Wow, this is really impressive. I haven't seen doors like this in my life. In front of us, we have a small house. And this looks like a small temple. As you can see, right at the bottom of the steps, we have like a little, I think this is like a small, what is that? Statue of Nandi. A statue of Nandi? Who's Nandi? It's, it's the bull. The bull? Yeah, it's, okay. It's an ancient character that's you know, from mythology, I guess. I'm not too good with this. Okay. Yeah, it's quite, it's there outside most of the temples. Okay, so obviously so it's a temple. A temple. Yeah. Beautiful. So right at the entrance, we have this like small doorway. And as you can see, right here we have like some carvings. This looks like an owl carved out. And then as you can see, it's beautiful. Look at all these different uh, designs here. I think this is actually an elephant, right? Is that an elephant? Like. Well, the eye right there, but then it has wings and it has a tail. So it's a mix of like three animals. Pretty cool. As you walk through the fortress, you can see these massive walls and these pieces of stone. I mean, look at this. There's easily like just one block right here. Just giant, humongous. And uh, I mean, that's it, right? I mean, it's very, very small in terms of what you can see. You can just yeah. go in, see the walls. Yeah, and you can just walk around the garden and you know, it's it's quite peaceful for where it is located in the city. Yeah, you can barely hear anybody yeah, outside. But that's the cool part, right? Yeah. And don't you think the temperature is like five degrees cooler oh, in here? Yeah, in the shade. Yeah, <laughs> in the shade, obviously. And one thing that's really cool about this is, is it's a free entrance. Yeah. So that's something very different. I mean, most places around the world, when you go to a fortress or a castle, it always costs money, yeah. but here it's free. It's free yeah. And yeah, I mean, that's it. Let's go see the palace. Yeah, let's go. As soon as we exited the fort, as you can see, there's a lot of people. There's a guy selling cotton candy. Right here we have some guys selling sugar cane water. I love this, this is the best. This really is the best. You want some? Yeah, yeah let's get some. Okay, so to beat the heat here, we got some sugar cane juice. It's super sugary, obviously, sugar cane. We got some lime in it, and he makes it really cold because he puts his huge ice cubes. Oh, this is gonna be the best thing to beat the heat right now. 
I just showed that whole thing really fast. <laughs> it's so good, it's so hot. Now, let's go to the palace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How was it, bro? Good? It was amazing. The most refreshing thing you can have. Hands down. We've arrived to the Tipo Sultan's Summer Palace. It was built in the year 1791. And, and tell me some more about it. Yeah, so it's a good example of Indo-Islamic architecture. Okay. And it was built by Tipu Sultan himself. So it was his summer resting place. And yeah, I think it was built in 1791. Yeah, 1791. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. See the good. Ooh, it's very good. It will look very good palace so to see that and take a photo shoot and nice picture. Hello. Oh, thank you so much. We're walking through the palace and as you can see, we're entering a terrace, huge like 25 foot terrace. There's two levels on the top. There's like a hall that connects both sides, which is connected by two stairways. And on the bottom there's multiple rooms. The terraces are full of arches and they're completely symmetrical. So yeah, and on from the viewing gallery, you can see these huge gardens. Yeah, my, my favorite part was actually the second level. There's some beautiful terraces that you can look out. You get numerous different vantage points. And then once you're done doing that, let's take a wander around the gardens. It's quite peaceful. There's actually not many people exploring that area. Yeah, it's the less touristy part of the palace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so pricing for the palace, it's a, it's a little unfair, okay? So for foreigners, 300 yeah. each, 25 for locals. Yeah, yeah so that's 12, sad. That's sad. Only, only 12 times more. 12 times. <laughs> <laughs> and, if, and if you're looking for like photos, definitely try to get the arches. It's really nice having like multiple arches in one like path mm -hmm. or one like straight view. Yeah. Um, and then besides that, lots of light outside, almost no light inside. So definitely bring a lens that you can capture in low light. And yeah, I think we're good. I think we're gonna go to lunch yeah. now. Yeah. Or do we go explore another track? I've worked up an appetite. Did you? Yeah. I'm still full. I ate too much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe another chai? I'm, I'm, I'm a bottomless pit. <laughs> <laughs> Is there chai around here? Chai? Yeah, probably. Okay, after a 20 minute Uber ride through the back streets of Bangalore, we're finally here at the restaurant and luckily for us there's no queue because usually this restaurant is extremely packed. So what are we going to eat? Yeah, I guess we'll have some biryani and some nice chicken starters as well. Let's go explore and see what they have to do. Okay, so the way it works here is that you get inside and the queue is not really a queue. It's like you stand around tables and you wait for people to like get up, right? And, yeah. then, so and then run to your seat. And then run in to the seat. So you have to be very strategic where you stand. <laughs> You have to be very strategic where you stand and as you can see everybody has banana leaves and the way it works here in southern India is you have banana leaf and then you pour the rice and you pour the curries on top, right? Awesome, I can't wait to use my hands, gotta wash them good. Yeah. With your four bottles of honey. There's no system so as soon as someone gets up, you go for it. It's like attack. Yeah. After, after standing around for like 25 minutes waiting for a table to open up, we finally got one and we jumped on. We still have this gentleman here but it's cool. He's our friend. And what we're gonna do now is we have the leaf, right? So as soon as you get the leaf, you get some water, pour some water on top. Okay? And what the water does is it basically cleans the leaf. So I just clean the leaf. I already cleaned my hands, but now I'm cleaning the leaf. Right? And then, right, clean it off. Like that. Oh, like that, my friend, like that. Okay. Nice. Wow, what a feast we have here. This is probably my favorite Southern Indian lunch of all time look at this i mean we're eating it on top of banana leaf we're eating it with our hands that is a traditional way here in southern india we have one two three four five six seven eight things right yeah yeah eight things okay so here we have mutton biryani we have ghee rice we have chicken biryani we have a cucumber salad right here we have chicken fry mutton dry chili chicken and then we have some liver the liver looks amazing and the sauce is like so rich I want to show you the sauce, how rich it is. Look at this, just like, just like, wow. Woo, you can drink it. No, I will do that now. I'll wait a sec for that. So the way you do it is you just grab one, start breaking up, mix it with the biryani, and then you put it like this, and you go like that with your thumb, right? So I'm going to go with my favorite thing of all time, which is mutton biryani. All right, I'm just going to go, oh my god, look at that. Big portion here. Ready? Oh wow, mmm, the spices, huge chunks of butter, so tender. Sorry, I'm trying to talk to you, my mouth is so full. I'm just blown away by this. Oh, I'm gonna now, I'm gonna get some of the, some liver right here. I'm just gonna eat the liver alone. Oh yeah. Light sauce, 
Mm. Super buttery liver, like you literally just bite into it and it falls apart. But I'm gonna get some of the delicious sauce in the liver, mix it with the biryani. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Mix the sauces with the rice. Like that. Oh, wow. Mmm. It's like a minty, earthy chutney. I don't know how to explain it that well, but I'm in love with it. I just love getting messy eating Southern Indian food. It's so amazing. Over here we have mud and dry. Oh my god, this mud is unreal. Mmm. Mmm. Look at the fat. Mmm. What's the best part? Mud and fat? Mmm. You're sucking off the bone. Mmm. Chicken dry right here. Look at these, look how red this is. Like, you can tell this is super hot. It's so red. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to mix this with the rice, but I'm gonna have it alone first. Mm. Oh my god, you know that piece of bone? Spicy. <laughs> Spicy. Ugh. It just cleared my sinuses. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. Super spicy. Mm. Well, always delicious. And what's next? Oh, we, we forgot the chicken chili right here. Chicken chili. That's gonna be super hot. Super hot? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Okay. So I got some of this red sauce, super spicy. So here we go. Oh. You got chunks of chicken biryani in there. Mmm. It's super spicy. It's so good. It has like a, not an earthy, but a little bit of nutty in it. The red one with the, yeah. with the ghee rice. Yeah. That's what you think I should do? Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, it's getting soaked up in it. It's like I'm absorbing it all like a sponge. Oh wow. That is so buttery, it's ridiculous. Uh, I mean, it basically feels like I'm having a, like a big piece of butter with rice in it. Yeah. Not rice, but butter. It's so crazy. Ooh. It's like too hot. Do I have some of the cucumber to like yeah. calm it down? Yeah, have the cucumber gravy to calm it down. And maybe you can have some of the plain ghee rice as well to calm it down. That's good, it's very milky. Yeah. Gravy with biryani we put on top. Is that good? Yep. Right there. Mix it up. Mix it up. Wow. Oh. It's just so fun. <laughs> Such a fun way to eat. Mm, it's a nice chutney. Very light. Full of spices, a lot of pepper. Oh. So oh. what's your favorite one among all of this? Favorite among, I mean, I love the liver. Okay. So I just love liver. Liver is always the same everywhere, but here with the curry, just gives it a whole different world of flavors. I mean, oh, it, I don't know what's hot now, like what hit me, but I am it's like on fire. Chicken. Yeah, it is a chicken. The chicken's pretty good though, you just break it up. I didn't really have too much chicken here, but look, we have a piece of bone here. Mm. Oh, this all around amazing meal. So many flavors. Like if you're non-veg, like if you're not a vegetarian, you're a non-veg eater, you will love this. It's really an experience coming here and trying to sit down, which is a mission. It really is a mission. Yeah. We waited for like 25 plus minutes. We jumped on the table, we sat down. They gave us basically everything they had available, which was eight different items. Yeah. My favorite thing was for sure the liver, but I love the mud and very tender. And just the whole experience is something you have to do when you come to India. So come down to South India, come to Bangalore, come to this restaurant. How do you say the restaurant name? Shivaji Military Hotel. Shivaji, so is it a hotel as well? Yeah, it's a hotel. Okay, so it's a hotel as well, but obviously this is the restaurant. And what time is it open? It's open only from 12 to 3 in the afternoon and for dinner from 7. So I suggest you get here around 10.30 and wait in line. <laughs> yeah. Right? That's how it is in Bangalore. I mean, everything is like a waiting game because yeah. of the, the hot spots, like where the locals go, everybody goes. Obviously, how many people are here? Like, I don't know, five, six million people in the city. It's crazy. But yeah, guys, if you love this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel, Sam's channel, and follow her on Instagram. And we'll see you on the next travel adventure in Incredible India. Now, let me get some more of this food. Mm. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here. Tonight I'm here in Bangalore, Karnataka, India with my good friend Sheikh Silla on Instagram, a foodie blogger, and we're here at Vivi Puram. Yes. And what is Vivi Puram? Vivi Puram is known for its food street over here. 
Uh, yeah, there's no proper abbreviation for this, but yeah, okay. so for us. Food Street. Food Street. And what are we going to see here? Uh, we're going to check out some, a lot of corn, and then we're going to try some potato twisters, okay. and gobi manchurian rolls, and a lot more. And you said floating pani puri? Floating pani puri. Yes. Floating pani puri. I can't wait, I love pani puri. Let's jump into it. So Tate Idli is very popular in Karnataka simply because as you as translate it means plate and the size that's what explains it and then of course it comes accompanied with the coconut chutney and the tomato chutney which are a delicacy out here in the south. So right here we have a Tate Idli. It's a huge Idli. I mean it's bigger than, well no it's not as big as a palm. Okay? Almost. <laughs> almost. I mean it's at least double or almost triple the size of regular Idlis. Yeah. Right here we have tomato chutney, we have coconut chutney, obviously we're in Karnataka, lots of coconut here, the south. Oh, how do we do this? Just break off? Break off, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Like a little sponge, I love it. So right there. Oh. Cheers. Oh. Nothing a little spicy. It is soft as ever. Mm -hmm. Lovely stuff. Now for the tomato. Yeah, I mean it is a little spicy. Super soft. Yeah. I just love this coconut chutney. Should I put it in the other one as well? Yeah. Mix it. Oh wow. The combo is pretty great. The right? combo is good, but yeah. damn, it got spicy. Uh -huh, that's what. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. We're in the south of India. Spice yeah. is what it's about, right? Exactly. And the really kind of balances it out. Mm -hmm. Really bland and soft, so it works. Yeah, I mean, you go like alone, right? Yeah. Nice little dough. So spicy after all, right? No, like, that's easy. Okay, so as you can see, there's probably like, I don't know, a few thousand people here? Yes. And the crazy thing is that there's actually cars driving through the crowds. Look at this. Oh my god. What is this guy doing right here? Is it crazy? He's gonna kill somebody. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, there's so many different vendors. I mean, it's non-stop. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, this this one's huge. How many people are right here? Look at that. Wow. Man, I am hungry. Yeah. Like that. What are we gonna eat next? So we have charts. Now we have the gobi manchurian. Yeah, so we can. And yeah, the loving this tea food. Potato twisters are right there. What is this? Smoke wafers. Smoke wafers. Smoke wafers. It's like nitrogen, right? Basically. <laughs> We're gonna try this next. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> so up next we have the floating pani puri, another special from the BB Puram Food Street. Let's dig in. I've never had floating pani puri. So what do we have? I mean, it's obviously it's the puri right there. It's like soaked in this moist, like soupy thing. Yeah. It's got onions, some potato inside. We got some chickpea. We got a thing called bundi. Yeah. Bundi. Yeah. Cheers. How is that? Oh. It's like a delicious puri with a soup. You are missing the pani. They give you which is in excess. That's why the puri floats. It's a jaljeera water basically. Jaljeera water? Jaljeera water. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just like stack everything into this puri right now. Yeah. Fill it up. Like keep filling it up right there. Yeah. Take it in. Wow. Cheers. Cheers again. There's nothing like it. The only bad part here is that one of us is going to eat a little more than the other. <laughs> and this is one of my favorite pani puris of all time. Uh -huh. I've tried a few different ones so far in my life, but this is the best. Nice. Nice. That's all yours then. Yum. Oh, he's going for the sauce. Oh, yeah. All right, next up I'm trying the pani, which is essentially a chili shot. It's what they use for the pani puri. Whoa. Whoa, that's intense. When you have it with the puri, it doesn't feel that strong, but just on its own, oh my. Wow, that'll clear out your nasal cavities for sure. Woo! So after that floating pani puri that was a little spicy, we're here at this shop and we're getting sugarcane juice. Mine is infused with ginger. Ginger with sugarcane. Oh wow. Wow, bro. This is so good. Refreshing. It's actually calming down the heat. I'm surprised because I thought it would ginger. It would be a little hot. 
but it's not. Oh, this is so good. good. It's so good. Cheers. Cheers. I got the same one, the ginger. Oh my gosh, that's the best sugar cane juice I've ever had. <laughs> Everything no? is the best. <laughs> no, but this really I know, I know. is. It really maybe is. I, maybe I just needed something that refreshing. No, because it has the ginger inside. After that, after the pani puri, the floating pani puri, I had lost my voice. So maybe <laughs> this is gonna help me get it back. Too much spice. Too much spice. Thank you. Pleasure. Hey, thank you so much. Thanks for saying hi. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> okay, so we're about to try fire pan. I did it back when I was in Delhi. I did it twice. It's pretty insane. It's pan with some stuff inside like mints and some like seeds and stuff and they let it on fire and shove it in your mouth. Okay, are you ready Sam? I'm, re I'm a little scared, but I'll try it. No, don't be scared. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's fire do pan, this. fire pan. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Smoking? Oh, <laughs> mm, very cold inside. That's a mint in here. Mmm, very crunchy. They put like, I think there's some like dry fruit in there as well. Then you have a smoky taste. It hits you really hard. The cool thing about pan, yeah. very hard to chew it. The cool thing about pan is it gives you energy. I feel great now. Wow. Yeah, scan a bit. A bit of everything. A bit of everything. A bit of everything. Ready? Oh, oh yeah, we're work. ready for it. Pop it, pop it. Oh. <laughs> like it really is such a burst of like crazy flavors in there. <laughs> this is fried cauliflower. You put like some delicious oh, really? sauce on it. I feel bad. This is your dish. This is your dish. That's so rich. That sauce is so good. Mm, it's, it's not what spicy. It again? It's like a tomato sauce. And the amazing thing here is that we don't know them and they just offer to let us eat their food. This is so friendly. Thank you so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy you uh, another one. No, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. No, 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 no. So here we have the potato twisters. What is this, man? How do they even cut this like this? They, I guess it's a machine. So a spiral machine. Yes. Wow. That thing is big. It looks spicy though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Oh. Wow. Mmm. Super crunchy. I love how thin it is. Look at that. But extremely crunchy. Mmm. Great taste. It's a great snack. Yeah. I love it. I'm gonna have a few more bites. Pretty hard to take it apart though. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, everybody else is doing it your way. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I'm the dumb corner. <laughs> Alright, 70 each, so one US dollar. Buck. Nice. Definitely worth it. It has a sort of pity pity flavor to it. That's basically that's what's giving it the tangy flavor. Yeah, tanginess to it, but it's really nice. I mean, if you have the whole thing, it gets hot. Yeah, I feel it right now. I'm, I'm feeling it too. <laughs> I got spicy. Yeah, yeah, we have to, man. Okay, you know what I'm gonna order? You know what I'm What you guys doing there? Whoa, Nate. <laughs> this is a nitrogen of uh, wafer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Eat it with your teeth. Oh, nice, dude. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, you smash through your teeth. Start breaking it. Start biting it. Start biting it. Bite it. Bite it. No, don't spit it. <laughs> it's called the mixed flavor cheese and wafer 
Smoke dragon bread ice cream. Wow. So it's basically nitrogen though. Nitrogen, yes. Oh, oh, you're getting better at the it. The dragon, the dragon. The dragon came out that time. The trick is to go for the wafer. Go for the wafer, okay. So here we have the dragon breath, basically. <laughs> dragon breath challenge. Oh, that's good stuff. What do you think? What do you think? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he he had the he had the bigger one, but you went longer. Nice. It's, nice. Che it's cheesy, right? This one yeah. cheese. Go for it, guys. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh. 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 Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> this guy's wife is killing it. Hold on, hold on. You're the best at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Finally, that. Alright, so we're here having roasted chili corn, and we're gonna check this out for the first time as well. Roasted chili corn. Basically, it's corn on a cob. They roast it and they fill it up with chilies. What? And they put some lime juice as well. Whoa, lime juice. This is so unique. I mean, the things you find in India are like bizarre and amazing. Amazing and tasty. And tasty. Always tasty. Chili corn, huh? Doesn't look like there's any chilies in here. It's not as spicy as I thought, but uh, yeah. I like the lemon mixed inside. Exactly. I mean, it's not so spicy. There's like a little kick, yeah. like tiny kick. Something that you can manage, yeah. No, but I like it because there's some butter in here, right? Yeah, yeah. I love corn, so I'll eat it. Now it's coming. Now it's coming. Now it's coming. Now it's coming. Slow and steady. Slow and steady spice. Sam, try it. It's juicier than I thought it would be. I thought it would be more roasted. It's gonna sneak up on you right now. Oh man. Oh! Nasal clearing, man. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Takes two bites before you get the spice. Here we have some sweet roti, and it looks like there's a bunch of ghee on top. What is it called? Holige. 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 We also call it Obbatu. Obbatu. It's a little hot. Oh my god, it's boiling. Boiling. Piping. Like yeah, piping. Piping. Ah, piping. Ah, but why so hot? What do you think? Oh my god. Is it good? Nice bit of end. A nice it's sweet nice. ending? Mm. Hot sweet ending. Mm. Oh, it's amazing. Super sweet. It's very like doughy inside. It has like a sweet, like almost like a honey flavor to it. Yeah, jaggedy. Jaggedy. Oh, I'm in love with it. But I think I'm done because I'm done. really full. That's dessert. I know, it's dessert. It's, it's too much, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my tour here with Sheikhzilla on BV Puram. Food Street. Yes, got it right. First time, awesome. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> we had so many delicious things. My favorite, I mean, the craziest thing here is the fire pan, I think. Yeah. But the most delicious thing is this right here. Right here. It's super sweet. Uh, what else did I like? The floating pani puri. The floating pani puri, yeah, because I really love the, the pani. The pani, the chili, watery, delicious. Chili shot, yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, All right. if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. Subscribe to my channel, Sam and Audrey's channel. Follow this guy right here, Shakezilla. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And we'll see you on the next <laughs> food and travel adventure in Incredible India. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in Bengaluru, Karnataka, India. I'm here with my good friend Sheikhzilla and this morning we're going for a delicious southern Indian breakfast here at CTR. What is CTR? 
The CTR is basically one of the most legendary tiffin rooms that we have out here in the city. People travel as far as 50 kilometers to come and try out the breakfast here. It's ideally popular for its dosas, the karabat, the kesari, and its filter coffee, of course. Oh, the coffee. I need that right now. It's 8 in the morning. It's a huge line. And the way it works is the bottom level, you have to like basically stand around tables to get in. But for, for the upstairs, you got to give your name right at the staircase. Give your name, and you got to wait there. We, we're going to wait probably, I don't know, half an hour at least. It looks packed. It is, but then it's worth the wait. Oh, I'm sure. That dosa looks legendary. Let's go inside. All right, we got our seats. Okay. Hey, ready to go? Where's the table? That table? Okay, perfect. Okay, here we go. Wow. So to start off our breakfast, we have Kariba? Kanaba. Kanaba. Yes. And this one is? Kesariba. 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 And this is a spicy one and this is a sweet one. Yeah. And when you combine them, it's chow ba? Chow chow ba. Chow chow <laughs> Okay, so let's start. Let's begin. And then we're here, what do we have? That's chutney. That's coconut chutney. chutney. Coconut chutney? Oh, it's amazing. You want some? Yeah. Let's get some coconut chutney. Let's try it on its own. It has the consistency of polenta. Yeah, mm. exactly. A little spicy, wow. Spicy. But it's a great combination with the coconut because it calms down the heat a little bit. Oh, I love it. Oh, get some more, man. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, you can really taste the chilies. Yeah. Mm. Good way to start your day. Yeah, you need something to light you up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'll dig into this. This, yeah. this is the sweet one. Yep. We had this yesterday, but this one's a little different. Definitely. Everybody makes it differently. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like bread pudding. Bread pudding, exactly. It has that consistency. It's like a mix between that and polenta. A little bit of clove inside, that's why you get the flavor. Cloves, yeah. Yeah, right, right there. Right there. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at yeah, that. Like so I'm gonna mix them and make chow chow? Chow chow bath, yeah. Chow chow bath. And I'm gonna get some of this chutney. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, cheers, man. Cheers. Mm. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah. It's so like sweet and then spicy. spicy. It's like like Indian oh. women. Like, like what? Indian women. Indian women. Okay. <laughs> here we have the main event. This is why we came here. They're famous for their dosas. You got what a regular one. Regular plain dosa. Plain dosa. And what is plain? It's just like ghee on top. It's just ghee on top. It doesn't have the masala like the aloo inside. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward. Perfect. And so mine has the aloo, so it's potato. It's like almost like mashed potatoes with some uh, chilies, curry leaves, some uh, shallots. Shallots? Wow. And as you can see, look at that. Oh, it just broke. It broke. <laughs> That's how crispy it is. So my hands are full of ghee. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All good. Amazing. So yours, you just dip into the chutneys, right? Yeah. So mine, I guess I have to break a piece. Yeah. And grab some of this. Yep. Wow. Coconut right here? Mm-hmm. Oh. The coconut is so much different, right, from the previous one. Mm -hmm. It's got a little more watered down. Yeah. We can really taste coconut. It's like it. It's like it's infused with it. Fused. But now the next one is actually mint, coconut, and chili. Mint, coconut, and chili? Yeah. Wow. And right now, see the dosa? There's pieces where it's just crispy, and there's other pieces where you have a lot of dough. Okay, so you grab the aloo masala, which is basically potatoes masala, dip it in this mint green chili. Yeah. Oh my god, more spice. It's not just mint, it's not just spice, there's other flavors in there. Mm. It goes really well with the potato masala. Yeah. Oh man. I think the dosa balances out the spice so you're able to manage. Yeah, exactly. And the cool thing is that like, you know, we've been eating dosas for days now, but every dosa is different. They have different tastes. Some of them are really crispy, some of them are full of dough. This one's like a half and half. And it, I mean, but it's still really crispy. Look at this, it's like a rock a little bit. <laughs> Love it. Oh my God. So I'm gonna mix them, mint and coconut. Oh, the two flavors combined. It, it really that that is South India. Yeah. Mint, coconut, dosa. I'm just gonna do this, man. Do a little crazy. 
I'm not just reacting for the camera. I really love this food. Like it's so amazing. South Indian breakfast for me, probably the best breakfast in the world. Yeah. Like the only other thing I can say that matches it is chicken and waffles with maple syrup. <laughs> but this is so good. So good, yeah. Oh, last bite, dude. Thank you. So in South India, we are very proud of the filter coffee that we make. So it does have much milk, but then the coffee alone is super rich. So you get that slight bitterness in it, and the milk's a little uh, thick. So there's a lot of good consistency and a great way to start your day, honestly. And like a lot of South Indians miss this when they go abroad. So you get this, this like idly you pour it all the way like that. Then you pour it back in. And this is a way to cool down the coffee, actually. So there you go. The Karnataka coffee. It's hot. Woo! It's really hot. Whoa. <laughs> And the reason they do this is to cool down the coffee. You do it a few times, it gets cooler. Right now it's like boiling. Not so bad, not so bad. Oh, it's amazing. But I like it, it's fun. Oh, nothing like this coffee. It's a little bitter. It's a lot of coffee, very little milk. For sure a lot of sugar. Because <laughs> it's in here, guys. <laughs> Pouring it is so much fun. Look at that, guys. Ooh, that's hot. And then over here. Oh, I spilled it. You gotta, you gotta go higher, higher. As high as you can. Look at that. Now it's time to try it. That's so much fun pouring it. Mm. Oh, that's a nice coffee. It's got loads of sugar, just a little bit of milk. And yeah, it's just got a wonderful, rich taste to it. Whoa. We just had an incredible breakfast with Shake Silla. So good. <laughs> Such a good dosa. I love the baths, that chow bath, mixing it together. Wow, so phenomenal. Hey, hey, we're good, we're good. <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna go somewhere, it's a surprise. But before we go there, Shake Zilla is on Instagram. You gotta check him out. He does a lot of food around India. Yeah, so you can follow my page. I'm actually gonna be in the States for the next two weeks. So you can check out my explorations around Washington and Chicago. And also check out what my life's like. It's pretty personal, so follow me. See you for dinner. See you for dinner. Okay, so after that incredible breakfast with Shakezilla, I'm back with Anashwara. Hi. And right now, where are we going? We're going to Church Street to have some iced coffee. Iced coffee, and what's yeah. the place called? Indian? Indian Coffee House. Indian Coffee House. I'm sure it's really strong coffee, it's right? It's really good coffee. I'm going with the strongest coffee they got. I need to wake up right now. <laughs> yeah, cool. So Church Street, this pedestrian street in Bangalore, it has a lot of these uh, restaurants, pubs, all of that. So at night, this is like the happening place of, one of the happening places in Bangalore. It has a lot of great food and stuff as well. And India Coffee House is also on Church Street. We walked into the entertainment store here on Church Street. And if you guys don't know, I'm a huge Marvel guy. I love Marvel movies. My brother grew up with the comics, so I'm buying a bunch of shirts. This is my brother, it's actually DC. We got some Venom, Venom just came out, amazing movie. And yeah, this is my favorite because I'm all about Iron Man, Captain America, and the one thing I would buy for my daughter here, which I can't take with me. My daughter loves Hulk. Hulk smash. Yo, what'd you get? Nirvana. I've been wanting to get this shirt for a long time. This store is great, man. They've got all kinds of things. Besides some shirts and ball caps, they also have really cool figurines on that far end. Hey, Chris. Hey, Kevin Feige, look me up. Thanks, my guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Church Street. I'm already loving this. This feels great. It's beautiful here. It smells amazing. The aroma of the masala in the air, the chai. Wow, lots of green. Still very concrete though, because obviously we're in the CBD. But I, I'm like, I feel like super energized now that I got my Marvel on. I'm waiting for that Dude, Avengers you, 4 you trailer though. You're psyched with that new gear. Dude, I want that Avengers 4 trailer to drop already. <laughs> and here we have it, the Indian Coffee House. 
Looks great. Looks packed. Iced coffee. I need something strong. Super strong. Super strong. Like, I need some like, some like real hard core. <laughs> yeah, no, I usually get like a double and then I get another double like right wow. after. Three. Three, 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 three. He's super goofy. Okay, it's scorching outside around like 85 degrees. Or more. Or more. And we got some cold coffee. So it's not ice, it's just cold. It's actually really cold. It's freezing. Cheers. 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 That's really what I needed. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be done with it. <laughs> I need another one. It's so good. Wow. Did it's you down like, it? I down yeah. the whole thing. What? It's like <laughs> freezing. One sip. Dude. I'm, I'm quick with everything in life, man. Yeah. You gotta be really efficient in life. <laughs> you gotta be efficient. You gulp your coffee. With coffee like, I mean, I just, I, I'm so hot. I need that to like cool me off. This morning was amazing. We had such a delicious breakfast with Shakespeare at CTR. Dosas, baths, what else do we have Coffee. There? Coffee, Karnataka coffee, so good. Then we came here to Church Street, met up with our friend Anasharwa. Wrong. Wrong. Anashawa. Anashawa. Anashwara. 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 And uh, yeah, so we checked out Church Street, we got ourselves some Marvel gear, and then we had a nice coffee, and I went really fast with it. I need another one, my friends. One more. But if guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, follow her on Instagram, subscribe to Sam and Audrey and subscribe to me and we'll see you on the next incredible adventure through incredible India. Incredible <laughs> India. Where have you been? <laughs> Good afternoon everyone, David Hoffman here from David's been here in Bengaluru, Karnataka, India. I'm here with my good friend Anashwara and today we're going where? Right there. Right Nagarjuna. there? Nagarjuna. Anajuna. Nagarjuna. Nagarjuna. And what are we having there? Um, a banana leaf meal, which is a typical South Indian meal, and a lot of chicken and stuff as well, and some biryani if you want. Okay, and you said it's like a Southern Indian tali? Yeah. Okay, and then after that, we're going to go somewhere on the metro, metro rail. Yeah. And we're going to a park, which is Covent Park. <laughs> Covent Park. Yeah, because yeah. right now we're in the CBD, the, like the basically the heart of the city. We're actually staying here in our Airbnb, so we're like right next to it. Awesome, let's go eat. Yeah. Let's go. I'm yeah. hungry. I'm hungry. Let's go get some food. Let's, let's see you run inside. <laughs> go for it, go for it. <laughs> Naga Adra style since 1984. It's uh, one year older than I am. 34 years. Let's go. Okay, so they have like the meal, which is when they come and serve you everything. And uh, you can order like different stuff of like starters, like chili chicken, if you're up for it. Are you up for it? Let's get everything on the menu. That's hard to do, because it's a lot. <laughs> well, let's go for the good stuff. Okay. So, we'll order where's meals, yeah. This looks like a, a tally. Yeah, so this is the Andhra meals. Andhra meals? Yeah. This restaurant's a little more fine dining, especially the space you get at each table. You know, all the restaurants we've been to, it's very it's a squish. It feels like you have like people like literally on top of you, like vultures waiting to get your table, so you have to like, you're, you're pressured to eat. This feels great. Relaxing, a lot of air conditioning in here. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Water, is this cleansed water? Is this good water? <laughs> you, you gotta be careful in India with the water. You gotta definitely drink bottled water all the time, so. Wow. I'm excited, look at this. On a banana leaf we have, basically it's like a southern Indian tali. What do we have here? So there's rice with a lot of ghee. Okay. <laughs> there's dal. This is like a sabzi or a palya, which we call in Canada. This is a sort of a chutney. Okay. And this is sambar. Sambar? Yeah, what you had yesterday with idli. You always have it, right? Yeah, always. This is rasa, which is like tomato. Rasa. Rasam. Rasam. Yeah. And that's buttermilk. Buttermilk. <laughs> There's butter in it. I know, I know. Don't and, worry. Um, I'm, I'm used to it. Yeah. And this is sweet, which is, I think... It's like a rice pudding, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, rice pudding. Okay. Paisam. Paisam. Yeah. And this is curd. That's curd, okay. We had something similar to this in uh, in Hyderabad. Yeah. Like a really big sun in Dali. A few of these were there, but we didn't have this one. Yeah. And then uh, this one we did have. And then also we have here uh, chicken, what is it? Nagarjuna. 
Naranjuna. Naranjuna? Yeah. So it's spicy, right? It's super spicy. Looks really spicy. Yeah. This one, do you just eat like this or you mix it also with... No, no, you can just eat it. Yeah, spicy. so should we just yeah. try that one first or... Really spicy, you said. Mm. Mm. Is it spicy? Not really. It's like, a, it's like a grilled chicken. I think he made it less spicy yeah. for you. He made it less spicy for me. <laughs> I can handle it, man. I don't think he thinks that you can. <laughs> I know. I know. Probably sometimes he sneaks off on you, like right now, I'm trying to feel it. He like starts to go around, you know? And Take then you become meeting. red? Yeah, I become red all the time here. I've been eating a lot of spicy food in India. <laughs> Okay, so how do we start? Okay, so you start by putting this gunpowder. Oh, gunpowder? Yeah. Guys, it's not, it's it's, not real, it's real gunpowder. Okay, it's funny because when I told my wife I was having gunpowder, she's like, what? Are you crazy? <laughs> okay, you go for it. Wow, that much? Yeah. Now mix, mix, mix it in. the ghee with the gunpowder. Oh, so you just mix this whole thing? Yeah. Wow. So just mixing that ghee with that gunpowder. The ghee, the ghee mixed with the rice absorbs the gunpowder. Wow, look at that. Whoa, so rich. Look at that. Just looks like an amazing yellow rice now. I'm ready for my first bite. Oh, like that, just like that. Yeah. So you hold it like that. Remember, these three fingers have it, right? And then you go. Mm. Oh my god. The amount of ghee right there is unreal. Trust me, that makes it taste better. No, oh, I know it makes it taste better. It just doesn't make my stomach better. <laughs> <laughs> it's like expanding. As I feel myself expand. <laughs> you don't have a beer belly. You have a ghee belly here in it, India. It is a ghee belly. It's a butter belly. It, it's it's a butter off. belly. Mmm. <laughs> oh yeah. It's delicious. Really amazing. The gunpowder. I mean, it's awesome. It's just amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's really an amazing taste. Some spices in there, not too spicy. Just spices, a little peppery. Mmm. Love it. What's next? Dal? Dal? So just get the dal mix yeah. it in, right? You can mix it. Or do we... Yeah? So you pull this in or mix yeah, it in? Yeah, I think uh, you should get more rice because you usually eat dal with like plain rice and not gunpowder rice. It's fine. <laughs> okay. I like it. Mm. So that's dal with spinach in it? Exactly. I was going to say, dal mix with spinach, a few little peppers in there, some other herbs as well. Mm. Mm. It's okay. phenomenal. Oh. Okay, the spice is gonna hit you in a bit. Yeah, right. <laughs> so good. So good. Oh man, the amount of ghee they put in there. <laughs> I think that's the most ghee I've had in the, on the whole trip in like one bite. <laughs> For real. That's palya. Palya, so I do the same you thing? Can, you can either mix it or just eat it by itself. I'll mix it. Mmm. Nice amount of vegetables in there. Got some carrots, got some chickpeas. You gotta, you gotta stay healthy with all that butter. Yeah, vegetable salad. It's nice. Very refreshing. Love it. And not spicy. At all. At all. No spice. Yeah. This one? The another chutney? Yeah, that's some chutney that you have with plain rice usually. Plain rice? Well, yeah. unfortunately yeah. I mix too much. Because usually you're supposed to separate the rest you're gonna yeah. mix the gum powder. You but didn't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Peanut chutney. Oh, amazing. If you like peanuts, you're gonna love this. Dude, it's gonna have all of it. I want them to bring me more of that. That was like unreal. It's so nutty. It almost tastes like peanut butter. No, no, don't bring it I'm gonna make you have it. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so I made that big, but this food's so good. <laughs> oh, yeah, more peanut sauce. Oh. No, 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 I'm no, good. Okay. Okay. So, mm. it's not your digestive system. <laughs> it's Indian foods in general healthy. Yeah. Like, well, it is, but the ghee is the problem. No, it's really not, because everything balances it out. It's like a wholesome meal. Mm -hmm. Or at least I like to think it is. I mean, the best part is that everywhere we eat, the food feels like it's a home cooked meal everywhere. I've been to some amazing Indian restaurants around the world, but eating at any restaurant in India blows everything else away. Definitely. I mean, it's so much more authentic, huh? Yeah. Sambar? Sorry, I'm gonna have to lick this. Can I do that? <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's, Sambar? That's the Indian way. <laughs> okay, I know. Indian. Sambar, rice. Again, you're gonna have gunpowder rice with sambar, but Okay, right there, sambar. Yeah. Mix it in here. A lot of Indians are gonna come at you for this, but okay. <laughs> it's okay, guys. I'm a foreigner. It's alright. 
Mmm. Nice. It's very light. Mmm. The great thing about it is it's very refreshing. It's not too spicy. It's like very moist, very soupy consistency. Oh man, the spice catching up though. Okay, I'm good with the sandbar. I I've had too many sandbars so far. You want chicken? Some more chicken? Okay, I'm just gonna let this chicken. You're gonna be crying by the end of this video. Why? Spice. I think I'm gonna mix that with the peanut. <laughs> Peanut butter chicken. <laughs> no, for real. Okay. Peanut butter chicken. Oh, wow. Rasam. 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 Rasam, okay. Okay, that also you pour it. A little too much. Yeah. Th this one's very soupy. Yeah, it's very. Soupy. I'm gonna have to get some more rice because this is like yeah. already ruined. That's all gunpowder. <laughs> that's all gunpowder. Oh, that's some good rasam. Mm hmm. With that, tomatoes? So it's tomato and spices? Tomato and spices, yeah, but it's very light. Yeah, it's, it's reasonable. Delicious. Yeah, let's let's do this. I'm gonna have to clear a space here. Oh, perfect, thank you. Salpa. Salpa, Salpa means little. Salpa. Yeah. Salpa. Okay. Mm. How do you like the rasam? No, I love it. No, 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 no. Yeah, I guess a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna interject here. They're very attentive with the service. Thank you. Yeah, I guess they're just watching every table to see who's finishing up and they bring them more, right? Yeah. Woo. So basically, they want to get, get you out of your fat. Like, double your size. Fat or fast? Fat and fast. <laughs> 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 so basically now this is the end of your meal so and you end finish it? with curd rice. So you take some curd, mix it with rice and that's how you usually have it. So get some curd? Yeah. Right there? Mix it with your rice. Not with the cake. Okay, but Oh, yeah, no, no, there's side. no other rice. No other <laughs> okay, rice. Yeah. Cool. Okay, okay, I'll just put it in there. Yeah. Wow. Now mix it. And so curd is like cool, cooling and all that, right? So yeah, yeah. you've had a spicy meal now. And curd rice to finish it off is just to cool it down. Cool it all down. It actually felt like I was eating like a yogurty rice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like so straight yogurt. The end of any South Indian meal is usually curd rice. It's curd rice, yeah. yeah. And that basically like coats your stomach from all yeah. the spices and really helps you digest. Yeah. Awesome. And yeah. Oh yeah, papu. You can have it whenever you want. With, with anything? Yeah, with anything or just by itself. So you break a piece of it. I, I don't like breaking. In India, you get like little pieces that are like that big. Nah. I'm good. I actually love this one. This is my favorite of all. The chutney? Oh yeah, the peanut chutney. Oh. Mm. It's quite crisp and nice, the popper. Mm. Super crispy, super flaky. Yeah. It's, it's like almost like air. I feel like you can have like a hundred of these. Yeah, you could. I mean, I can. <laughs> I could. I'm just in awe right now. The food is too good here. Mm. Then we have one piece of chicken. So to end our meal, I'm gonna have some buttermilk. To cool down everything, as usual. It's spiced buttermilk, yeah. actually. It's nice. I, I personally don't love it. It's almost like just having a yogurty, watered yeah. down. Yeah, a watered down yogurt. With spice. Do you Spices. Taste? Yeah. Do you taste it? It? More like peppers. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah, my hands are dirty, but is it like bad mess to this? No. Finger licking Finger good. good. <laughs> in, in some cultures, it's horrible. Like in America, you can never do that. Yeah. You can never burp in public either, and everybody around him is doing it. So it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> and right here we have the what is it? The biasum. The biasum. It's quite sweet, actually. Okay. So. So it looks like it has a rice pudding consistency, but there's also jellies in here, and that's a big thing in Asia. There's also cashew in here, yeah. like right there. Mm hmm. A very light rice pudding, like very light. Yeah, super light, yeah. Mmm. Oh. Is it bad manners to do this? Alright, I'm gonna let go of that because if not, my waist is sitting out. <laughs> I think it's already gone. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think so too. <laughs> Sorry, the spices are hitting me now. Oh. Do you go bonkers when, you, when the spices hit you? Yeah, yeah, I like it though. After that incredibly delicious lunch, we're now here at the Mahalma Gandhi station. Yeah. And we're gonna go right now to which park? Kaban Park. Kaban Park? Yeah. Okay, and what what is that? It's just basically a large park and lots of greenery. 
2 to 3 degrees drop in temperature. Oh, wow. oh nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, You'll it's hot. Love that. It's hot right now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's like one station away. It's yeah. 10 minutes. Let's go. Yeah. Let's do it. So here in India, they're very, very strict in the metro stations. Yeah. They don't allow cameras inside. Like literally, they made us take apart our cameras and put it into the backpack then check it through security. We couldn't film anything. There's security throughout the metro station and then on the metro. So, I mean, to respect them, obviously we kept it inside, but unfortunately we couldn't film, which sucks. But whatever, we're here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so we're here at Coven Park, where we're like literally we just exited the metro station. We're gonna walk into the park. This park is huge. I mean, I just saw on the map, we're literally staying nearby in our Airbnb, but the park looks like the biggest park in the city. I can't wait to get in there because right now it's like 90 degrees. It feels like 90 at least. Yeah, it, it really is. It really is, it really is. As soon as you enter the park, there's a military jet right in front and then you enter and there's a few different vendors. Some of them are selling chats, papayas, coconuts. And yeah, it's really busy right now. Wow, so many cars. What street is this? Is this a street in the yeah, park? This is a street in the park. Wow, and why is it so packed? Because it's Sunday. <laughs> oh, it's fun. Sunday, yeah. You know what? When I travel, I forget the days. Okay. I just I just know the days I'm in the city. I don't remember the days of the week. Yeah, so it's Sunday and everyone's having a chill Sunday afternoon. Wow. Do you feel the temperature drop? Yeah, the temperature has dropped a lot. I mean, there's so many trees, it's very yeah. refreshing. You okay. could just you could feel there's, this there's like no pollution here. It feels great. Yeah. Just jump over here. Yeah. Whoa! Oh my god! That was an accident. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm okay. I just I just thought you said like jump over it. Here as you can see there's so many families right now. Kids playing. What are they playing right there? What's that game? Badminton. Badminton. Yeah. Very nice. I mean this is great. Yeah, so there is there's like this bamboo area over there. We can probably hit this. Bamboo Except area? Yeah, I mean, as you can see, there's like a walkway in the middle. Yeah. There's a few vendors right there with yeah, ice cream, right? Yeah, ice cream, candy, blah, 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 all of that. And I think right now we're gonna pass out like a thousand cars. Is everybody staring at us? <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. look, everybody's looking at us. Yeah, so people are gonna come meet you now. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everything's wonderful. Isn't life wonderful? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I feel good. I could just like go to sleep on one of those streets. That's what I feel like doing right now, but I got a long day ahead of me, so. <laughs> good luck for that. So we had such a delicious meal today with Anashwara. We went to, what's the name of the restaurant? Nagarjuna. Nagarjuna. Yeah. We had basically this like a southern Indian tally. Everything was delicious. My favorite thing was probably the chicken naga. No, you forgot the peanut butter. Oh, no, yeah. not the peanut butter. That wasn't my favorite. The chicken was my favorite. Okay. And then we took the metro system, which reminded me of the one in Thailand in Bangkok. Very nice, but obviously no cameras allowed, so remember that. You can't have your camera out when you walk into that metro. And then, yeah, we're here in Cuban, Cuban Park, and it's beautiful. We're refreshing. It's really hot outside, but inside here, it feels like it could be like 75 degrees, you know? Yeah. It, it's very nice. And yeah, guys, we had an amazing day. I hope you loved this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Yep. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to Sam and Audrey. Follow Thank her. You. <laughs> Follow her on Instagram. Yeah. And subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you on the next travel adventure in Incredible India. <laughs>
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it looks <Okay>. comfortable. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> Have a couch there. So people, these are very relaxing chairs. Oh, me and Sam almost passed out here yesterday. It's so Let's comfortable. Oh my gosh. We really haven't even had an hour to rest in this trip. This hour that we have off, we're doing this, so. <laughs> okay, and here, this is my favorite part about the apartment. This is the terrace. Woo, it is cold in here. I mean, it really feels like 70 degrees. Right now it's like 85 out there in the sun, but here it's cool, and as you can see, trees, open air. Love this, really love it. I mean, we haven't even had a chance to sit here and just talk shit but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so that was the living room. Also TV, books. Uh, we also have cable, go up a little bit. So it's like a little second level right here. So we have a little dining area. Right here is my favorite part about this place. It, this is amazing. Having a washer is essential. Right now is the middle of our trip and we got to wash all our clothes. We dried it outside, left it there overnight. And in like 24 hours, everything was dry. Thank you to Casa Lavelle. Here we have the first bathroom. And as you can see, standard bathroom. Right here we have the shower, toilet, heater, faucet. So this is a very standard Indian bathroom. When you take a shower, try to do it over here. Stay in this area, don't get the toilet too wet because then obviously you're gonna have to use it later and you don't want it to be soaked. Right here, we have the first room. This is Sam's room. Spacious, right? Hey, it's relatively clean too. Yeah, pretty clean for Sam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's a queen size bed, right? Yep. Over here we have like a little desk area. We have a little cabinet up here. And right here, look at this. This closet has towels, bedding, blankets, extra pillow, extra keys, and wow. you can hang your clothes. Lots of space here. Put your, you know, your socks, underwear. Amazing. Lots of space in this apartment. And then right here, in case there's a fire, you have a fire extinguisher. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and look at this. This is lovely. Perfect kitchen is all I need. I want to cook eggs. If you need water, here you got it, filtered water. What we do is we buy bottled water and when we drink it off, we come here, fill it up, and we have water for the rest of the day. And then microwave, you have cups here, right? Cups, coffee mugs, and right here we have plates and more toilet paper because in India you need toilet paper. If you're <laughs> from the Western world, you'll oh, be yeah. shocked. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and then here, right here's the fridge, right? So fill it up if you have some drinks, some cheese, whatever you want, put it in there. Got the modem right there, so we have internet, awesome. And then, in the second story, we have my room. Let's go up here. And this is my room. Another queen size bed. I won't lie, it's a little hard, but <laughs> I like hard beds. Pillows are very nice. Nice and soft, but not too soft. I hate when it's extremely soft and then I have to put like five pillows together. It's perfect. I have another little desk area right here. I just put all my stuff here. Too many electronics, right? You know, I put all my stuff here, my luggage, open it all up, have it open. I love when there's space for that because sometimes you don't have space for your luggage and I hate that because then I have to open it on the bed and I hate putting luggage on the bed because the luggage went to the airport and been touched by a lot of people. I hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> and then right here we have like an, a walk-in closet. I really didn't have time to hang anything up because we're only here for 48 hours. But this is awesome. And I can also put more luggage in here if I need to. <laughs> and obviously another blanket in case it gets too cold. And uh, yeah, I mean, let's go to the bathroom. Last thing in the bathroom. Love it. Bathroom, standard bathroom. Take a shower right here. Faucet, toilet, heater. The second you walk into the room and you want to take a shower, come in here, turn this on. That red light means it's on. Yeah. You're supposed to wait like 20 minutes, let it heat up, and then you have hot water. The worst thing in the world <laughs> is taking a really cold shower. I mean, if it's really hot outside, I get it, but I hate when it's ice cold. It's like the worst. Oh, can't. 
I stare. <laughs> <laughs> memories of Amritsar. <laughs> yeah, memories of Amritsar. Horrible. So that is my luxury apartment Airbnb tour in Bangalore. I personally suggest you stay here when you come to Bangalore. The reason I suggest you stay here is because obviously it's the most central spot in the city, CBD. This apartment is awesome. It's linked in the description below, so definitely check it out. And what you can do from here is go to Cumberland Park, you can go to Church Street, but then you can also catch an Uber and go down south to like the older part of the city and there eat some delicious food. There's so many amazing restaurants. We've eaten dosas. We also went to a fort and a summer palace. I think it was awesome. We didn't have a lot of time here, but we maximized it. This is definitely a foodie city. This was probably one of the most comfortable apartments we've stayed in. Just so spacious. It had extra everything. Like we had extra linen. We had like, it's just thoughtfully prepared. And the thing I like the most, right there, the washer. We needed that. It was like essential at this point in the trip. Absolutely. So when you come to India, come to Bangalore and stay here. It is a must. A must. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. And subscribe to his channel, Sam and Audrey. Subscribe to my channel, David's Been Here. And we'll see you on the next travel food adventure in Incredible India. Good evening, everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in Bangalore, India. We're here in Fraser Town with my friend Sheikhzilla, a foodie vlogger on Instagram. And yeah, we're going on a tour tonight. Tell yeah. me what we're going to eat. So we're going to start off with some awesome rolls. And then we're hoping to try some shawarma, maybe some butter chicken. Oh. We're going to end on a sweet note with some really nice lemon chai known as a Soleimani. Lemon chai, I've never had that before. Yes. So we're going on an Indian street food tour of Fraser Town. Let's get it. We're starting at Shahi Kebab uh, Center and I have two uh, chic sambal rolls which are basically like the whopper rolls. I mean whoppers of rolls over here in India. And now time to dig in. Here we have the chic sambal roll. It's basically beef kebab. It's stuffed with onions. What else is in here? I don't even know, but it's huge. Look at this, like the huge. Could they call it the Whopper? You said the Whopper? <laughs> oh my god. Mmm. The spices. I'm really happy to try some beef in India. First time actually. Mmm. Whoa, spicy. It's got some kick to it, huh? Mmm. Oh my god. Oh, this thing's getting hot. So basically, they stuff it with like six kebabs for like two of these, right? It costs 185 rupees, which is roughly almost three US dollars. It's like two, 285 or something. Oh, it's huge. Look at that. The roti. <laughs> just giant. Okay, here we go. And they put like some chili in there. Wow. Ooh, it's starting to get really hot. Oh, but it's so good. <laughs> just can't help yourself, man. I'm starving right now. Oh. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. Mmm. Thank you for bringing me here. Mmm. This is so freaking amazing. This is too big. How, how am I starting with this? I'm not as base or shawarma and all this other stuff. I can do it. I can do it. Hi. Hi, sir. <laughs> come on, come on, guys. <laughs> So we're headed to the next spot to eat some shawarma and some butter chicken. We're going to Empire Restaurant. Empire Restaurant is like the most famous restaurant here in Bangalore because they've gone global. They're in New York, they're in Dubai, and right now on the way to the restaurant, we're walking on this main street, and as you can see, there's lots of trees everywhere, but you have to really be careful with the sidewalks because I don't think there was really good planning here. Uh, the sidewalks, there's like sometimes you drop like two feet, sometimes you go up two feet. Some of the, some of the sidewalks are closed, so you have to walk on the street like we're doing right now. Can't get in there. It's completely closed. There's a lot of garbage, but that's the charm of the street. Is just walking through, go from place to place, and eating your heart out. I can't wait to eat some more food. I love India. All right, good evening, everybody. We're here at Empire Restaurant. Uh, this place is very popular among Bangaloreans because all of us who go partying late at night look for place to eat. This is a spot. It's open late at night and it's very popular for their grilled chicken, their butter chicken, as well as their ghee rice and also their musambi juice, which we have right here on our table. And uh, yeah, more from when we start digging in. All right, so we're starting off with a very northern Indian dish, but this is Bangalore style. This is butter chicken. It's a tomato-based chicken with butter. 
Oh, look at that. That's The sauce is the best part. Absolutely. This is something we eat a lot in the Western world. I mean, everybody in America loves eating butter chicken when they go to uh, Indian restaurants. But over here, we have ghee rice. So it's rice with ghee, which is like, what is it, concentrated butter? Or is, it, is that what it is? Clarified, Clarified butter. butter. Yeah, sorry, guys. I need to learn this stuff. I've been here too long and I forget this thing. <laughs> so clarified butter is ghee, ghee rice, and then right here we have roasted chicken. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, grilled chicken, grilled, grilled chicken. chicken. This looks incredible. We have a drumstick, we have a wing. So I guess I'll just get a drumstick and it's like a red sauce right here. I'm sure it's hot and spicy. Wow, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. We got a little more of that. It's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna start off first with the butter chicken without anything, without any rice. Mm. So creamy, rich in flavor. It's not hot at all. Mm. And then here we go, some ghee rice. You gotta mix it in with the sauce, the tomato sauce. Mm. It's like drenched in butter. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, okay, yeah. And you got a spoon. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm gonna get some of the butter chicken, some of the rice. Oh, it's amazing. Feels like I'm eating this thing in Delhi. It's that good. Mm. You know, it's funny, I always think like, butter chicken's overrated. It's really not, because it's <laughs> always delicious. Yeah. But here we go, this is the grilled chicken, and it has like a little red sauce. Let me get some more of that. Put on top. Oh, some rice on it as well. Oh, spicy. Mm. Spicy, huh? A little burnt on top. Mmm. Very juicy. Man, this is delicious. Like, this is awesome. I'm embarrassed. There's too many people watching me. Yeah. <laughs> it really is spicy, though. The sauce is a little hot. And they put, like, what is that? Like, masala with onions? I'll grab some of that. Here, I'll just show you. Mm. Not too hot. It actually cools down the heat. After having some of that grilled spicy chicken, here we have masambi juice, which is sweet lime. Oh, that's refreshing. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, serious. Thank you, man. Thank you for bringing me here. Show the whole crew. Hi, guys. Crew. Hey, <laughs> it's incredible. It really tastes like like a lime juice, but it's a little sweet. I, th I think they put a lot of sugar in here. Right? It's, it's naturally sweet. It's naturally sweet. Naturally sweet. Oh wow, that's impressive. Let's go to sweet lime. I think it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Here at Empire Restaurant, they also have chicken shawarma right outside. The guy cooks it. This is like carnitas tacos in Mexico. I think it came from Lebanon, like the actual concept. And here we have it, right? It comes in a roll, like a tiny roll. It really depends on where you are in the world. They serve it differently. And here, what they do is they cut the chicken shawarma down, and then they mix it with like a salad. I think this is like a cabbage tomato salad with some sauce, I think it's actually yogurt. And then they wrap it in this like pita. Wow, this is incredible. It's stuffed. It's jacked. Mm. <laughs> it, it's basically like a big coleslaw salad mixed with chicken. And the pita is like really heated up. So you can see they burnt it a little bit. Yeah. and a little charcoal feel to it. Mmm. Oh, it's also a little spicy. <laughs> oh, wow. It's got some kick to it, huh? Mmm. Very chewy. Oh, I love the veggies in here. This yogurty, spicy sauce. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful. Of course it is. That hits the spot. Where are we going next? We're going to uh, Taj Tea Stall. And what are we having there? Soleimani. Soleimani. Soleimani, right there. And it was that lemon chai. Lemon chai. Lemon chai. This is another small stall on the street. As you can see, I don't know what's happening here, but there's a lot of people just like, sweets? sweets? Yeah, looks like sweets. A lot of people just like covering the area. I mean, so many people. Hey, how you doing? Oh, here we go. All right, let's do this. Cheers, my friend. That's piping hot. That's piping hot. Piping hot. Okay. Bottom, not bottoms up, but just a sip, okay? It's just a sip, yeah. That's wonderfully sweet. Ooh. Mm. It's just like straight lemon. It's like almost like lemon juice. Yeah, it's extremely hot. Not so bad. Not not like over. 
Not too much. It's got a little bit of mint leaf, then you got tons of sugar and lime. So you get the tang, sweet and tangy flavor. A little bit of apadina that gives that touch. Apadina? Mm. You know what this reminds me of? Like a tea in Morocco or, or tea in, uh, in Jordan. Yeah, the sweet tea. Oh, you just have a little bit left. Man, that's so good. So sweet. You know, honestly, even though it's hot, I consider it to be refreshing as well. It's almost a bit like a dessert drink. But man, yeah, it's good. So good that you're ordering another one, right? Yeah, I need another one. It was just way too small for me. It is small, yeah. <laughs> but it was only 10 rupees, so that's like, I don't know, 12, 15 cents. Pretty good deal. Yep. Really good deal. If you do that in the States, five bucks. <laughs> It really is like the tea from Morocco. Mmm, so hot. Has a tangy flavor, a lot of sugar. So, what are we off to next? Kona House. So, what's death by chocolate? Well, it's like three scoops of ice cream, loads of chocolate sauce, a bit of brownies, and some peanuts. 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 On top. Well, I think we're going to death. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude, I'm too tired. This is like, I'm exhausted. But I think we're gonna try the death by chocolate. So here we have the death by chocolate. Look at this decadent dessert. So basically, this has a combination of vanilla ice cream, chocolate cake topped with cream, honey, chocolate sauce, peanuts, and cherries. Yep. Whoa, how we do this? Are you ready? Yeah. You burn yourself. All right. What? Are you ready to die? Yeah, I'm ready to die, dude. Ready? Oh my god. Oh my. Seed. A oh, seed. <laughs> Alright, seed. now how is it? <laughs> it's delicious. I like the combination with the honey. Yeah. That's what I taste the most of right now. Yeah. Mm. You got it right there? It's very good with the, the peanuts. This is the cream. You got this side, you got the chocolate bit. This side, yeah. That side? Okay. Yeah, chocolate wow. And the vanilla. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. I love the chocolate cake. Yeah. It's super thick. It's like a big brownie. It's, it's kind of moist too. So. Yeah. Mm, mixed with the nuts. It's like the devil's cake actually. It is a devil's cake. I don't even know who can finish this. Yeah. For real. This is a lot. <laughs> and the ice cream is in the bottom. You can really see it right there. Right there. Pull it up. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, this is like a little too decadent for me. I know. I, I, I'm good with this guys. Well, I'll have a more. <laughs> mm. All good? We had an incredible food tour here in Fraytertown. If you're visiting Bangalore, I definitely recommend coming here, trying some uh, some of the chic rolls. The chic rolls. The chic rolls. Trying the buttered chicken. Uh, what else did we have? We had uh, chicken kebab, shawarma, grilled chicken, the shawarma, the lemon chai, lemon chai, and now this. And now this. I, I, yeah. My favorite thing was the first thing, the like the lion yeah. chic kebab. Chic, right? Yes, the beef roll. The beef roll. And yeah, if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. Follow him on Instagram, Shakezilla. Thank you. Subscribe to Sam and Audrey, right behind the camera. Thank you. And subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next incredible adventure through India. Right, incredible India. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow, look at that line, dude. That line is intense for 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Oh, yeah. All right, so today we are flying with SpiceJet. And, Spice Jet. and what's, the, what's the slogan? <laughs> it's like red, hot, spicy. spicy. <laughs> Sounds like a great curry. <laughs> yeah. Cool thing is we got here two hours and 20 minutes early. So as soon as we got to the check-in, they actually asked us if we want to go in premium, which is basically 600 uh, rupees each. And yeah. in premium, we get a hot meal. Hot meal, get to sit near the front. And apparently our bags will come up first. Exactly. We'll see about that. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, see about, about that. that. And uh, what else? Oh, and the flight is only 55 minutes. So basically we go up, eat, go down. <laughs> yeah, That's exactly. It. That's nice because we've had two really long flights recently, like almost three hours each. So we exactly. have a short one. Also means we can hit the ground running in Chennai too. And what do you think about this airport? It's awesome, man. It looks like really modern, new, spacious. Just need some coffee, dude. Need some coffee. Yeah, let's find some caffeine. It's uh, it's 6 a.m. Let's go. <laughs> it's funny because there's KFC and it's Taste of India in almost every airport. I'm getting, I'm getting a donut, man. It looks so good. <laughs> looks so good. <laughs> We're here at this place called Puro Gusto. I'm getting like a double espresso. I'm gonna throw on some ice, and this guy's getting a macchiato with a with a. Oh, you're getting a cappuccino with a with a donut. Dude, I'm, I'm laying off the sweets. I need to lose weight. I'm getting too much weight here in India with the ghee. I'm just getting fatter by the day, by the hour. <laughs> hey man, gotta keep it healthy, keep it real early in the morning. Not. Well, it's actually hot. It's a hot donut. Mmm. It's pretty good, man. White chocolate glaze. You want a bite? Oh wow. Mmm. Mm. Iced coffee. Wow, that's some strong coffee. Really strong. Karnataka. That's good, doesn't need any sugar. Oh man, can't believe I'm doing that. <laughs> 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Sugar rush. Sugar rush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the past 48 hours have been amazing here in Bengaluru. We ate so many delicious things. We met up with some awesome people, Sheikhzilla and Ashwara. Incredible people, gotta give a big thanks to them yeah. for making our stay just to another level of awesomeness. I know, the, the people make the place, man. Exactly, always, always. 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 And uh, what'd you think? What was your favorite thing? I loved, well, I loved eating the food. I mean, the food was amazing. It was <laughs> like, too good. Next level dosa every morning. Every morning. <laughs> every morning, it was awesome. I get the dosas every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, I also thought it was cool. Like, the city had some really distinct neighborhoods. There was a lot of greenery. It was just a really, like, it, I found it to be a very livable city. I was just thinking, like, if I had to live in a big city in India, I would consider living there. Yeah, and there's also a lot of expats living here, so, yeah. and I can see why. Yeah. I think my only thing, I guess, the thing we didn't love is that we had to wait, like, in every single restaurant we had to wait a long time, but yeah. I understand why, you know, there's a huge city and the yeah. goods places, yeah. you have to wait in line, this is exactly. India, I remember like almost, I don't know, seven, eight million people here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And here, the other thing about that too is we, we went to those places on the weekend. Yeah. It was even busier. So. Busier, and plus it's Diwali, so yeah. holidays, everybody's out. And uh, yeah, I mean, awesome experience, I'd definitely come back here. And I think we're flying in uh, the next half hour, so are Dude, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, man. Are you excited for Chennai? Chennai, and it's gonna be hot there. It's gonna be really it's gonna be hot. Super hot. They say there's a cyclone coming. I don't know about that. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, tropical, man. tropical depression. Oh man, <laughs> I know. We've had such good luck. Not, not a drop of rain on our trip. So I gotta say, I always get good luck with rain. I almost have, I haven't had any rain on my travels. Like very, very minimal. Dude, you're thank lucky, God. man. Thank God. Yeah. You're lucky, man. I think I had a really good streak up until we went to. Japan, but we went during rainy season. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was well, crazy. You, you like you put yourself in that. Yeah, one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. All right, guys, let's head to the plane. This is Bangalore Airport, also called Ken Pagoda Airport. It opened in the year 2008, and it is the third busiest airport in the country after Mumbai and Delhi, and it is the 34th busiest airport in Asia. The airport consists of one terminal and one runway. As you can see, there's 34 gates. We're actually in gate seven, so we have to go down. There's a lot of restaurants, souvenir shops, retail. I can spend a lot of time here just chilling, eating, yeah. and shopping. Now let's go to the gate. Oh my gosh, dude, final call. I'm glad we made it. We were just getting a little too comfortable in that airport. I can't believe we're final call, dude. <laughs> I know. That's crazy. I know, that's crazy. We I, I knew it, I knew it. We almost missed our flight. We were taking too much time to make this video. Yeah, we're making good B-roll for you guys. Good B-roll. So here we are, small plane. 
I personally hate small planes because they're always super bumpy. I know, I know. But it's you only an hour everything. flight. You feel everything. Yeah, you feel everything. It sucks, but looks good. Looks good. <laughs> That's it, we're in the front. Premium, baby. Yeah. We're in the front, man. You gotta love it. And we're getting a hot meal. Hot meal. Hot meal for oh. the win. Indian food. Yep. All day, all day. All day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Tea as well. Alright, so we got like some tomato sandwiches. Yeah, we did. Cucumber, tomato, Cucumber. and cheese. And cheese. And then I got some. Nimbu Bani, and you got what, lychee? Yeah, lychee. It's cool, they have the information on the back in terms of nutrition. 174 calories, not even that much to be starting our morning with. Awesome. Crazy, let's try it. The big unveil, check that out. Looks like there's lots of sauce. I don't know what that is, like a, maybe a, some kind of a mayo, spicy mayo. Let's take it out. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, it's decent, I mean, it's just a pre-made sandwich, but if we're hungry, so it'll do. Lots of mayo. <laughs> it'll do, I'm starving. Nebo means lemon. Pretty good. Like a little lemonade. Better, Lots than, of sugar. better than the sandwich? Yeah. yeah. The sandwich isn't that good. Yeah, I know. It's not so good, I mean. I, I, I call that a soggy sandwich. That's <laughs> what they got. Yeah, that's what they got. Oh yeah, that's really sweet. It's almost like there's chunks of it in there. It's the uh, lychee, I think. It's good stuff, man. Very sweet. Better than the sandwich, for sure. Wow, that was probably the fastest flight of my life. It was like 25 minutes in the air. It was like 15 minutes taxi, 25 in the air. We landed, and two minutes later, we're out of the plane. Super smooth, food was okay. But we're here, Chennai, let's go. What do we have here? I'm not entirely sure, but it's a colorful performance, man. It's a pretty nice introduction to this airport. And can you believe how fast and smooth our flight was? I can't even believe it. I know, you had the funniest thing to say about those little planes. It's like a little cigar in the air. But at least it was a smooth cigar this time. A cigar or a little missile. A little missile. <laughs> and did you know that this is a Tamil Nadu? I think it's what the, the, the state is called. Oh, wow. So it's Tamilis. So that's Tamilis right there. And I think the Tamil people are also in Sri Lanka. Yeah, Northern yeah. Sri Lanka. And I think there's quite a few in Malaysia too. That's yeah. crazy. That's amazing. They destroyed it. Look at that scratch. Oh, dude. All banged up? Yeah, whatever. Let's go. But you know what? They did say our luggage would come up first. They, <laughs> they, did. they did. They did. They did. At least yours. yours. Where's yours? If mine comes out next, then then we're all good. No, there was there was two other people sitting in front of us or to the left of us, right? Okay. The best thing to do here is to order an Uber. We ordered an Uber XL because we have a lot of baggage. And uh, yeah, it's only seven minutes till pickup. And the way it works here, you walk outside and then you cross over to where it says Ap Apollo Tires over there. It's also like really, really hot right now. Like, extremely hot. I can't even believe how hot it is at this time. It's only like 8.40 in the morning. How hot is it? Crazy hot, man. I'm sweating already and it's what? 8.55 in the morning? Imagine what it's gonna be like at noon. Time for some real breakfast? Yeah, I mean, we're waiting here at the pickup spot for our Uber, and I got some filtered coffee. A little hot, mmm, a little earthy, aromatic, I guess. Oh, it's great. A little bit of milk, no sugar. And then over here, I got some samosas. Yeah, man. Samosas from Chennai. Here we have it. Vegetarian samosa. Basically, it's like an empanada. Oh, look at that. So big. Mmm. Vegetarian, but it looks like beef to me. Oh wow. Maybe it's not. <laughs> vegetarian. It is? Okay. It's like, it's like lentils and stuff. Oh, okay. We're used to having potatoes in the northern ones, huh? Potatoes. Ah, potatoes. There we go. Oh, phenomenal. Mmm. A little spicy. Lots of spices. I couldn't have asked for a better way to start my day in Chennai. Mmm. This is ridiculous. So good. Got it. Dude, finally. What was it like the fourth try? Fourth try. Man, finally we're gonna get to the place. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Then the issue we had is that I kept ordering XLs. The XLs kept canceling on me. They would call me, but they wouldn't speak English. Thing is, uh, it's a little tricky here. But I've had really good luck everywhere else. But here, I guess, I guess here we go, here we go. Very hot here. <laughs> It really feels like 100 degrees right now. And it's humid. 
The heat and humidity just like slaps you in the face. It reminds me so much of Southeast Asia. <sighs> the second we left the airport, we're in traffic. Well, that's India for you. But it's cool. That's part of the charm, you know? Lots of people, lots of traffic, commotion. The smell is just like pure pollution. <laughs> Well, after a 40 minute traffic jam, we finally made it to our Airbnb. Hey, thanks my friend. Thank you. Let's check in. Okay, here we are. Literally almost broke. What happened? It's been a long morning. Woke up, what, 3.30 in the morning. Head out to the airport. Flew to Chennai. One hour flight, which really was like a 30 minute flight. Then we had a little bit of a problem getting Uber, but we got it. Then we got a lot of traffic, we both took little naps. We did, we passed out. And when we were awake, it was like bumper to bumper traffic. I mean, I thought it was bumper to bumper the whole time. <laughs> I, think, I think it was, I think it was. <laughs> but guys, I hope you love this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment below, subscribe to Sam's channel. Thanks, man. My channel, and we'll see you on the next travel adventure in Chennai. Chennai.